Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and explore how you can import component styles um, in your pages. By that, what I mean is that whatever styles we import are available only to your component. So the first thing first, um, we have seen that, you know, main.css does not really work very nicely because we get this error. So what's happening is that Next.js has actually created a way to import the files, the CSS files inside your TypeScript or JavaScript components. And that is only when your file name ends with .module.css. So you have to make sure that you name your file as main.module.css if you want your file to be available only to a particular component. The, your global file would still remain um, you know, just, just the main.css or global.css or whatever you want. But anything which you import in your component, in your page, should be like this. It should be whatever the name. For example, in our case, it would be index, which I'm just going to create. Index.module.css, right? So that's what we are doing now. So I'm going to say red again, just give it a more specificity just a little bit of CSS weight and I'm going to make this color green, right? Hit save. And if I go ahead and uh, just do that, what's going to happen is that if I go ahead and refresh, what we're going to see is we don't really get anything because, because by default, you have to import it as like this. Now you can go ahead and make use of styles.red like that right so now if you go ahead and see you're gonna see that you actually get the green color and you can see that it has actually bound your style to a specific class so how you have to use this is by using um, class name and then writing styles which is what you imported from the css file and then the name of the class which you're using right in our case it is dot red there's a way to make it work like this and like this as well, but it is not available natively inside Next.js as of now. So if you want to do something like that, you have to write custom configuration inside next.config.js. And we have some videos at the end, which are like covering the advanced aspect of Next.js, which go over that aspect. So if you're somebody who's migrating, this is especially useful for somebody who's migrating existing code base to have this feature, you know, just having an import style, which should be local to your module, to your component, and this should work right away. So this involves the use of a Babel plugin, but yeah, that is possible, but it is available at the end of this section, end of this whole course, basically. So yeah, I mean, for the most part, this is how you're gonna make sure you work with um, the CSS modules, the CSS components in Next.js. Just import them like that and you're good to go. So that would be all for this video. I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one.